is Miss Betty for the Griswold Memorial Library. This month, we're going to make May flowers. First, you'll need something for your background. I do something other than green, but that's all I had. You could use the back of some junk mail or a piece of cardboard from a box or construction paper. First, you're gonna to wanna to take your muffin cups. Take some glue and put it wherever you would like on your paper. First, you need to make sure that your glue is working. So you glue your muffin paper on to your background. Then take some more glue and put it in the middle of your muffin cup. You're gonna want it to cover most of the, most of the bottom of the muffin cup. Then take some sequins a little pinch and put them all over your glue in the bottom of your muffin cup. You're going to want to press it down just a little bit so that the glue sticks to all your sequins. And there, now you have a shiny flower. Next, you're going to need to make a stem. Take a pipe cleaner or construction paper and you can break your pipe cleaner into smaller pieces by taking it and wiggling it back and back and back and forth so that the friction, so that the friction breaks your pipe cleaner into a smaller piece. Next, take your glue and put it down below your muffin tin, muffin cup. So then you can stick your stem on. Just like that. Then take your construction paper and cut out a couple of leaves. You can make them smooth. You can make them round. You can make them long. You can make them however you would like. But you could also take your little, take your scissors and snip right along the outside edge of your leaf. And that way, when you rough it up a little, your leaf will have some texture. Take your glue and put your leaf wherever you would like. You can put one on each side, you can put two on each side. You can do it however you would like. So that is one way to make flowers. Another way is to take Q-tips. I got these ones with the blue stick at the Dollar Tree in Greenfield. They also had purple. Or you probably have some white ones in your cupboard. You're gonna wanna take your scissors and cut your Q-tips in half. You're gonna to wanna to use maybe four Q-tips to make a nice flower. And then take a pom-pom. That will be the middle of your blossom. You can use whatever color pom-pom you would like. 
So I would take some glue, put it on the back of the pom-pom, push it down onto your background paper, just like that. Then take your glue and make some spires out from the middle of your flower. These will be your blossom petals. So then take your Q-tip half and put it in your glue all the way around the middle of your blossom. That way you'll have lots of petals. Lots and lots of petals on your flower. Now you're gonna to wanna to keep your paper flat while your glue dries or your petals will move. So then take your pipe cleaner and the piece you've broken off and you can glue it onto your flower. And then you can put another leaf or two on your on your flower just like that but like I say you'll want to leave it flat while it dries so your petals will stay where your glue is because they like to move with the gravity. So leave your paper flat until your glue completely dries. And then you will have a bouquet of flowers. Have a happy May. Bye.